Hi there, Toby here. I want to give a little introduction to polarity meditation in this video, both as a, as a video in itself, but also as an introduction to a new series of uh, classes and sessions that I'll be doing on integrative polarity meditation. So our life consists of uh, tension, all sorts of different types of tension. All of these tensions arise from polarities, so different opposing forces within our life. The aim of polarity meditation and mindfulness is to try to make the different polarities, the opposing forces that we have in our life, uh, complementary and mutually enhancing rather than contradictory or conflicting. Okay, so here are some very simple examples. Your relationship between your work and your family life. There's a polarity there. Your relationship between your thinking and your feeling. There's a polarity there. Your relationship between your spiritual life and your physical life. There's a polarity there. Your relationship between you and your partner. There's a polarity there. You and your child. There's a polarity there. You and your boss. There's a polarity there. Right. So pretty much everywhere you look, there are polarities of opposing forces that are uh, that are working together to create an experience for us. So with integral polarity meditation, you're trying to become conscious of various different types of polarity in, in your life. Notice that they're in a state of, of dynamic balance or imbalance, meaning that they're always, they're always changing. They're not remaining the same. It's not just, like, well, if I hit this position between these two poles, I'll always be fine because the, points between the, the point between the two poles that is harmonious is, is changing all the time. So polarity meditation is about being aware or, or mindful of opposing forces in your life and how to work with them rather than against them all right so from the tension in our life comes all sorts of stress okay and stress isn't a bad thing stress can either be uh, positive stress or negative stress so negative stress meaning uh, stress that when it happens to us uh, it causes our functionality and our enjoyment in life to decrease so it, it, it breaks up our capacity to respond effectively to what we're going through uh, positive stress or U stress, EU stress, is stress that when we experience it, it, it causes us to strengthen our capability, it causes us to grow in some ways, it causes us to become capable of doing things that we couldn't do before. So it's a particular type of stress, but it's positive stress because it's causing us to grow and develop in various different ways. All right, so again, the aim of polarity meditation by implication is to is to make sure that whatever stress you're having is in some way positive stress rather and you stress rather than uh, negative stress. And the interesting thing is, something that is negative stress for you at the moment can become positive stress if you learn to work with the polarities involved and find a point of balance between those two. All right. So, um, yeah, that that's pretty much everything that we're going to be covering in this session is going to be about uh, how can you work with polarity uh, both informally in your daily life but then what are the specific types of exercise and practice that you can do that are really gonna ramp up your ability to work with polarity effectively in a really kind of uh, dynamic enlightened and aware way <clears throat> all right so just a little aside uh, on enlightenment or awakening so within the different spiritual traditions within the world eastern or western the end goal the final goal tends to be a, a unitive state or a state beyond polarity right where there are where the polarities or dualities in your life dissolve away into a singular or unitive state so if you want to be able to do that effectively actually you have to be able to there, there's you in the world of 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 complexity if you want to be able to move to a singular state of enlightenment you need to build it you need to be able to master the various different polarities that are uh, from where you are now to this kind of unitive enlightened state so there are many different states of many polarities along that journey that you need to be aware of and that you need to master in order to be able to hold an effective state of uh, unity non-duality or singularity so polarity meditation is also very important from a spiritual point of view because it because it it enables you to hold a singular state with great stability and calm 
even whilst you are living within the complexity of your of your daily life so so there is polarity meditation practices in both the eastern and western traditions of meditation uh, for example you find it within uh, Taoism within this whole principle of yin and yang masculine and feminine polarity you find it within uh, within uh, Buddhism within the with, with Buddha's uh, philosophy of the middle way the ever-changing point of balance uh, between two poles and you also find it in the Western tradition within uh, tree of life practice uh, Kabbalah practice uh, tarot practice so it's fairly central to both traditions of meditation actually I could go on there are other traditions that I could mention that are also to do with balancing of polarities right so but to, to give a very simple uh, analogy or image from Taoism uh, so within Taoist te teachings Tao is the, is, is, is the singular unified state from which uh, the universe emerges or evolves right so but from the Tao comes yin and yang the basic polarity of yin and yang from the yin and yang comes comes the 10,000 things from that kind of interaction of, of masculine and feminine forces come the come the um, Give that, that polarity gives birth to the 10,000 things, meaning the multiplicity of the universe. So we're, we're in the complexity and multiplicity of the universe here right now. Okay, So if we want to move back to the Tao, or the unified singular state, and we want to do that stably, we need to uh, master the various different uh, levels of yin and yang, or polarity, that lie between the unified state and where we are now. Okay, The interesting thing is, once we learn to do that, then you can live in your world of complexity where there's your work, there's your family, there's your romantic life, there's your kids, there is all sorts of stresses and strains going on, whilst at the same time holding a point of balance that then gives you access to a unified state, a unified state of awareness or singular state of awakened awareness. All right, so phew, <laughs> there's a lot in polarity meditation. What I've aimed to do in uh, this series is to uh, is to identify some of the most important polarities that we come across and some of the most practical and useful ones and do meditation sessions on those specifically. So they're designed to be a maximum practical use whilst at the same time being interesting in the sense of, of how they are kind of archetypal polarities that um, If, if you master on one level, then, you, then you're going to be able to uh, see the applications in all sorts of other different ways and levels. All right, so I've put together a, a series of sessions that are aimed to really help you to understand what polarity meditation is, how to do it, how it's useful to you in your everyday life, and how it can also offer you access to points of stability, stillness, harmony, and balance whilst you are living in the midst of the stresses and strains of these different polarities in your life. Okay. So that is pretty much uh, the video I wanted to do today. Thank you for watching, it's been a pleasure, and I hope to see you at the sessions. Take care, all the best.